Okay, I know the clock behind me says midnight, but it's 30 seconds till midnight, right? And here's the thing. Um, I have gone entire calendar years, or like I've probably gone a calendar year not making the amount of progress that I made in January of 2024. So this is like really significant to me for the first part, right? T 12 seconds till February 1st, and I'll explain after it hits February 1st, like why I'm doing this or whatever's going on, right? But five seconds, four, three, two, one, and now it's February, right? And here's the thing. Because I have gone cal an entire calendar year without fucking, without making the amount of progress I have, and also I've come up with the idea recently that I really enjoy the sentiment of potentially treating every month like it's the new year. Like, I really like how I felt on the night of January 31st this year, slash the morning of the, the our fucking... This, what month is it? January. January 1st slash December 31st. I was feeling very motivated and I want to keep that energy up every fucking month, right? So here's what I have, right? Now it's, it's February 1st. I have some sun chips. I have water. I'm wearing my necklace and I'm watching iCarly and it is February 1st and we're going to keep the energy going and we're going to make it better. As I keep saying, January was wonderful a little uneventful on paper, but a lot happened. A lot of progress was made. More than I even expected, to be completely honest. And we're going to keep that energy going. And we're going to make February 11 out of 10. And we're going to make it even better. And I don't know. I'm I'm still excited. I'm still here. I love y'all. Hi. Yeah, so um, February 3rd, I'm not going to do this anymore. And that's what I'm here to explain. Or, like, I might do it sometimes, but I'm not gonna, like, post all of them, or probably many of them, if at all. Um, mostly because, first of all, when I realized sometime around mid-January that I really wanted to post these, like, as a full archive for the month of January on YouTube, I thought I, w I was like, oh, good idea, and then I did it, and I was like, I'll do this every month, and then I realized, like, again, it's not that I would be fake going forward, but it feels a little disingenuous to have in the back of my mind knowing that, like, I am going to be posting them on YouTube. It feels a little less real, and that makes me want to do it less regardless. Or, well, I don't know. I'm still going to, like, record things, but I don't I don't know if I'm going to post them on Snap at all or anything. Um, and also, I just have new goals as well. Well, I'll get to that. I also realized that, um, that at a certain point, like, now I've just been posting a lot of updates that aren't just for Snapchat. Sometimes I post things on my Facebook and my Instagram story as well. Um, everything that is on there is pretty much here too and then here there's a lot more but I feel like now that there's a lot getting done that I would like to share regardless um without needing all of that like I, I even if not every day there's stuff that I'm posting a couple times a week in general anyway um so I'm not really that shook about not doing that and lastly I again I'm not really gonna go into detail that much in this video because I only have 30 seconds left but I do have an entirely new set of plans. Small plans such as like reading a book every month that I came up with and, and doing a lot of other small things like that. And a lot of them are also continuations and improvements on January's goal. Like it's not just like I'm doing new things that I didn't plan to do. Like it's it's all like new or it's all the same, but like adding on to it and like improving and expanding on it. Um but I think, like, the focus is kind of going to shift elsewhere to, like, how things are going to get done. And that's okay, because plans change and things are working out. Love you. Mwah. Remember this? Smash at Park University or whatever the fuck it was called. I kind of just typed in maps and then walked, like, almost an hour to the nearest park. And I ended up here. Kind of poetic, if you think. Love you. I just realized after walking an hour to a park and then dancing for like 20 minutes and almost walking an hour back, that because I forgot my Bluetooth speaker, I was listening to Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. And uh, because it has 117 BPM. And that's what training season has, right? Well, I looked it up and no, I was dancing to uh, 117 BPM, but um, Houdini is 117 BPM. Training season is 115, so. Oops, live and learn. Hi, yeah, uh, we're back with the strawberry filter. Anyway, so um, I'm not going to give many details because this is so fucking disturbing. But I think it was this morning or yesterday morning, whenever I went to that park for a second time to 
to film some shit. I don't really know. It might have been this morning. Um, the most, one of the most literal traumatic things ever happened to me. So I go outside, it's like 6am, and I'm like walking for like 20 to 30 seconds. And on the sidewalk, I just, I see a dead animal with its head not on its body. And there's blood and stuff like all around it and everything. And like, I, I saw it for like half a second. And then I just, like, quickly jolted away and just, like, kept walking and just walked past it and walked away. My parents think it was probably, like, you know, killed by a coyote or something during the night. Um, and I was pretty fucking shook for ten minutes. Like, I'm not that good with gore as it is. But seeing something like that in real life is something I've never really experienced. And it was fucking horrible. And again, I saw it for maybe, like, half a second. But that shit was ingrained in my mind for like five to ten minutes. And, and it was dark out and shit. It was it was fucking horrifying. Um and yeah. I don't I don't know. It it, it like it, it really fucking shook me. Like i I've really just never experienced anything like that. But luckily I I felt fine after like ten minutes and I feel fine now, but I don't know. That was crazy and like I'm really sad about it and like I don't know, you know? Anyway. Y'all want to see the tripod I bought yesterday? All right, let's, let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> now, um, I think the height is like... It's like four feet maximum. I'm sure we can figure out how to work this thing to get there, but I didn't really check the height of the this before I bought it. It was $20 at Target, anyway. Um... Everything I'm going to do, I don't really abandon major ideas anymore. Everything I'm doing is still going to happen, but the timeline of events is going to be different. Um, the major dates will be the same, but take everything I, with I, that I say with a grain of salt, because um, as ideas grow and expand, um, the timeline changes as well. Um, so I have a lot coming, and you can believe me or not, but... Um, some shit's about to go down starting very soon this is ridiculous and i know i'm i'm high right hopefully y'all can hear me i can't i don't i don't do this like often anymore but and so like why can five milligrams do this to me anyway let me move away from this shit um i'm sitting here and i'm like starting to feel ridiculous again and this is what i was trying to avoid and why i'm only doing it when I'm going to sleep, etc. But as the previous Snapchat noted, right, um, I had to write my ideas down, and I didn't. I haven't been writing in my notebook because I've just been using my phone and my laptop. So now I feel ridiculous. But then I was like, wait, I know how to fix this. I just put on a fucking Ice Spice playlist, and it fixes my brain. <laughs> is that silly? Like I know it's silly, but like the brain is that easy to fucking trick. It's so silly, like sober not sober it doesn't matter it's so easy to just fucking trick your brain i swear i promise it's easy people don't realize me. <laughs> i'm really gonna try to go to sleep or i might not <laughs> it's a long story hi yeah so um i just had a discovery today this isn't even an idea because it's already worked um and this is a, gonna sound very obvious and very like simple um but i noticed recently that i still have a problem with like obsessively checking not even social media just like my phone just like unlocking it and scrolling or whatever just looking just unlocking my phone or whatever so i realized that um well here's what i did i changed my phone passcode from four digits to six digits and i disabled face id and now in the past less than 30 40 minutes I have caught myself, like, around two dozen times just trying to m meaninglessly unlock my phone. And as I'm typing in this six-digit passcode, I'm like, oh, wait, what am I fucking doing? Um, and it has, like, saved me already a bunch of times, and I think this is going to really help in my subconscious, like, OCD obsessiveness of either the internet or my phone or whatever, because this is, like, the most hard addiction for me to overcome, is, like, phone addiction and 
internet slash social media slash just like mindlessly doing things like unlocking or scrolling through pages on my home screen. Um, and I'm already seeing like insane results for like progress for all of that. Um, which is interesting because it's so simple. I've had this phone for a while and I've just always used Face ID. <laughs> um, but when I realized that it's a curse and not a blessing, I was like, okay, let's turn that shit off so that I actually have to have a reason to like open my fucking phone. Um, yeah, that's it. Leaving for Cali tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> okay, so I'm watching Death Note before I sleep. It's only 6.30. And I'm watching Death Note. I was gonna take Benadryl to help me sleep and because there's dogs here. But I looked and it's like three years expired. So I don't think I'll be taking Benadryl tonight. Um, either way, I'm probably just gonna watch Death Note. Then put on my sleep playlist and go to sleep. Because uh, I kind of want to be up very early tomorrow for something. Uh, it's not important if I don't wake up on time for it, but there's something I need to do tomorrow morning. Um, go watch my 2.5, the Eminem ad for PTTR. Go watch that. Um, again, a little bit of a serve, you know? Um, but yeah, today was good, you know? I hope you're all good, because I'm good. Ah. Okay, because I'm failing to go to sleep, I have an apple, <laughs> it's kind of getting eaten, and I'm looking at stuff from the Willy Wonka experience, and these posts are so funny. Um, if for somehow reason you haven't seen anything about the Willy Wonka experience... Look it up. <laughs> this shit's funny. <laughs> I am very entertained when I should be sleeping. Okay, anyway, good luck. <laughs>